Game Studio. Okay, let's get started with the version 1.4 of Killer Waves. We have triggered spawners and triggered despawners. I'm going to show you that we have a game where there are no collisions. Everything is triggers. Nobody's shooting anything. And everything can pass right through. Notice over there in the hierarchy, your lasers are not despawning. They're adding up. The enemies are not despawning when they go off screen. There's the big mothership that we're going to add some waves to later on. There are three of them. Right on, not very useful. So let's go ahead and add a trigger despawner to your projectile so that if it goes off screen, it will despawn. Also, if it hits an enemy, it will despawn. Here's the invisible part. That's all you do. Click the box. For trigger, we're going to say if it hits anything in this layer, it will despawn. You also have a tag filter there that you can use additionally. Each of these can be multiple. Let's go ahead and check that out. My shots are despawning if I hit it. Or if they go off the screen, notice in the hierarchy, they're not building up. Now let's make it so that you can actually die. We're going to put another triggered despawner on the player prefab. We're going to say if it triggers onto an object that is either in the enemies or enemy projectile layers, then it will despawn. Let's see if it works. Oh, and there goes your player. That was cool, but we want it to make it so that there's an explosion when you die, not just vanishing. So now we'll add a triggered spawner for the player as well to spawn the explosion. So the same settings here, basically. I'm going to say if you hit with a trigger either of those two layers, enemies or enemy projectiles, it will spawn the explosion prefab, which we drag in there. One of them. You could have more than one if you want. Check out that in action. Much better. So far, so good. Let's go to work on one of the fighters, the enemy fighter, the first one you see. I have their prefab for the projectile ready, so I'll hook it up with another triggered spawner. We're going to say that after it becomes visible, the ship, we'll go ahead and shoot two of this at you, the one I dragged in. It will take one second to spawn both. Then we'll repeat that wave of two with a one second pause between. Now I'll go into the trigger event so we can specify that there's an explosion when your projectile hits it. Here's your layer. And actually instead of using an explosion, we're going to have it spawn some smaller ships when you blow it up. Five of them. Now the only problem here is that the first ship will not despawn until we use a triggered despawner. So now we'll go in, make it so that if it goes off the screen, it despawns, or if your projectile hits it, it despawns. So it'll be one ship turning into five. Let's check it out. Let me throw it up. There's the five, which you can't destroy yet. Then look on that next. Those five are really close together. But there is five there. I did not like that you couldn't blow up that small ship, that's dangerous. First we're going to make the small ship actually shoot at you, but we'll give you a couple seconds to blow it up before it will do so. We'll drag that one in, a wave of one, it'll only shoot one. But there's a lot of them, so they could swarm you. Now we'll go ahead and make it so you can blow it up. There's your layer, we'll drag the explosion prefab in. And then again, we need to use a trigger despawner to make it so that it actually disappears and not just spawn an explosion and keeps coming at you. So here's the trigger despawner. If it goes off the screen, it'll despawn. Or if it hits anything in this layer, your projectiles. Let's check that out now. Should be able to kill both of them. Small and the big. Yeah, now we're talking. This works. No code at all for you to write. Now we need to get that mothership spawning a whole bunch of little ships at you. Going over to the mothership prefab, gonna do a triggered spawner. 
So after it becomes visible, we'll wait a couple seconds because it's long and they're spawning right out of the middle. And then we're going to spawn Fighter 1 again, 15 of them, over a little bit longer time span, not all at once. There's the pause of 2 seconds. Then we'll repeat the wave of 15 after pausing a little bit. And we're not going to let you blow up that ship with one shot. I need to work on something later to make it so it'll count more than one shot to blow up things. So let's check it out when we get to the mothership. Here it comes. It's going to start to spawn right now. How oh, isn't that cool? You can spawn spawners. That they themselves are spawners of those small lasers they shoot at you. Right there. You can get as deep as you want. That's it for the video. Check us out on the forum or email us for help. Thank you.